Hi, Lisa Jock here, and I am so excited to be with you today, today, tonight, anyway, whenever you're going to see this, probably on the replay. Open your mind to prosperity. Now, um, this is something I've been reading myself, and, um, and that, that is actually from Catherine Ponder, Open Your Mind to Prosperity. So I wanna talk about that and talk about some other things I've been doing along with this same practice. And you know, like most people have financial problems, have a psychological block to prosperity. So what we're gonna to talk today about is how we can open our mind to prosperity and to help us to break through those blockages so we can create some of that in our own lives. So first of all, let's talk about what prosperity is. In the dictionary, it says the state of being prosperous, a long period of prosperity. Uh, synonyms are wealth, success, affluence, comfort, security, riches, opulence, the good life, fortune, ease, plenty. Now, who wouldn't want some of that in our lives? Well, in Catherine Ponder's book, Open Your Mind to Prosperity, she says you can open your mind to prosperity when you realize the definition of the word. And that's something I've always said. Sometimes we know a word, but do we really know it? If we go back, not only in a dictionary, you know, you want to look up maybe even the Greek word or find out, you know, go deeper in and find out the true meaning of the word because there is so much more meaning to it than what we realize. And so she says, you are prosperous, prosperous to the degree that you are experiencing peace, health, plenty in your world. And and that is just so beautiful. You could just feel that. And, and that's what we want to feel, that prosperous feeling. And so um, money is spiritual. Money is energy. Money is frequency. And some people might not agree with some of these words because we say spiritual. Um, you know, people who are doing like the healing art, sometimes they're their heart, they don't want to take money, they don't feel it, you know, kind of goes back to our self-worth or even artists, you know, looking to try not valuing themselves enough to take um, somebody's money. So these are some of what is part of our, um, our birthright. Um, so what does it allow for you? It allows you freedom, your spiritual growth to unfold. Uh, it allows you the opportunity to buy organic foods, to buy um, non-toxic products, to travel, to learn from different cultures and communities, to... Um, to, to just even learning and having, again, comfort and security, something that we all desire is comfort and security. So these are some of the things that money um, can offer to us if we look at it in a different way. So how, uh, so, so now I'm gonna talk about some steps to opening your mind to prosperity. And one is, Cleansing your mind. Cleanse your mind for prosperity. So you want to get rid of what you don't want so you can get what you do want. And that might be getting rid of the negative, um, letting go of negative emotions. And that cluttered and crowded mind that is always thinking negative thoughts because your reality, um, you what you think about becomes your reality. So if you're not liking what's going on in your reality, if you're not liking the money issue, then what are you thinking about? What are you thinking about? You know, believe me, I'm, I'm not 
uh, I am learning this too and I'm getting better and better at it. So um, these are just things I'm sharing with you so that we can all work together and clear our minds. Uh, letting go of emotions that no longer serve your best and highest good. Again, when we let go of those negative emotions, then we can start freeing ourselves because what is it that we truly want? What do we want? Sometimes I think we're even scared to ask for what we want. So in that, I want to share some other things that I've learned from Bob Proctor about what we have learned. So on that note, let's take it over here. So one of the things that Bob talks about, and I'm gonna do some drawing here, and I'm not the best drawer, but bear with me. So let me just get this going here. So he talks about the mind. So this is the mind because our mind thinks in pictures. So when we talk about the mind, you think of the brain and the brain is not the mind. So we have to go in a little deeper. We have the conscious and the subconscious and that's what we have here. So this is the conscious and this is the subconscious. And what happens is that our conscious mind, this is where we learn things. So we have, we see, hear, touch. These are our five senses. Taste and smell. Okay, so those are the five senses. So we might have heard money doesn't grow on trees. And we heard this and it goes into our subconscious and then that mind um, processes the information and then we start to believe it because our community, our parents, you know, everything um, has taught us that this is, you know, this is how we've learned everything and it's been programmed over and over since we were a baby. It's like our, our cat, our head, our cap was wide open and we were filling it with everyone else's ideals. So uh, a person consumes the information through these five senses and the conscious, which is the logical mind, processes the information and agrees with it. So down here we have the subconscious mind, which is whatever the conscious mind agrees with gets deposited in the emotional subconscious mind and the belief grows further. So then that belief goes to the body and our body is where we take action or no action and then we can get our result. So we have our action and, oh, I don't know how to flip this. Uh, I don't know how to flip it. So sorry, I know this is a little backwards, but I, I hope you're getting this. So what we want to do, um, and, and, and when I, I see in this picture, it made me realize that how we can start to change things is we gotta change what we're putting in. So like the TV, um, schooling, all that stuff is being programmed. So that's why when you might go to the doctors and they give you a pill, you just take the pill automatically and you don't question it. And um, that is something that I did. I didn't question it, but uh, something awakened in me one day. I, um, I, I happened to not be well, went to the doctors, got a pill, um, and it was um, due to heartburn or indigestion, acid reflux. Uh, the pill didn't work, they put me on another pill, and I just, I just took it. I didn't think nothing of it. And this is where the programming starts to come in. And then uh, there was a commercial that came on, and you all know the commercials. They had a laundry list of 
side effects and it just happened to be the pill I was on and again I heard I heard the commercial but it wasn't until I heard death and dying that kind of like woke me up and I was like hey I'm not ready for that and I, it it was my wake up call and it it made me aware of what I am listening to, what I'm learning, and um, it changed my lifestyle. And I started my health and wellness journey at that time. So with that, I want to bring out um, the feelings kit. Now this is the feelings kit from Young Living, and it has six oils. And the reason I'm bringing this out, you are going to be amazed. So here are the six oils. They are Valor. And we're gonna go on one by one. And I'm, I'm wanting to start with Valor. So why essential oils? Well, because, let me see here. We'll talk about. So what essential oils do is that they inspire a positive emotion your positive emotional state because that's where you want to be in that positive state because that's what creates more positive stuff in your life, right? You want to let go of that negative. And so that's what they do. So do you love the way you open up an orange or a lemon and it smells so good? I had one lady say, I just crack, I just peel a lemon just to smell it because it makes my day. So those oils are feel good oils or even just the lemon and the orange peeling them make you feel good. So essential oils are complex, pleasant and unique tr scent triggers um, and unique scent triggers emotions and memories which can help you search for a more fulfilling and a balanced life. To help you rediscover peace, balance, and joy, the essential oils and blends you're gonna learn about today for, for diffusion, soothing, baths, massage, inhalation, or topical application. So we're gonna talk about some of these today. And I'm excited to share with you. So how do they impact your emotions? You're probably asking, right? Well, the limbic system of the blend, the brain plays a powerful role in creating emotions and feelings. It is often called the emotional switchboard of the brain because it's responsible for carrying sensory input from the environment to the hypothalamus and then from the hypothalamus to other parts of the body. So essential oils can have dramatic offense, effects on the limbic function of your emotional state and how you feel. This is directly related to their strong aromatic fragrance. And essential oils can contain volatile molecules that can make their way into the bloodstream and many can travel directly through the blood-brain bar barrier very quickly. So with that, you've seen on here about it, it, the smell, the smell. So what we're going to do today is we are going to um, work on helping to clear the, those emotions by smelling some essential oils, using some affirmation. So what we're doing is we're using all of our senses, maybe not taste, but we're using our senses as far as smelling the essential oils. We're going to apply it on us and we are going to inhale it. So we are, and then we're gonna say an affirmation that is going to clear that. So we are using four of the five senses to help you clear some of those emotional blocks. Is it all gonna be clear tonight? No, maybe it will, I don't know, but probably not. Sometimes it takes a little more because it's like an onion, right? You have lots of layers in there. So we're just gonna peel away, peel away a little at a time. So. Our first oil you want to use is Valor. Valor is for, um, it promotes strength, courage, and self-esteem. So what I like to do personally 
is six drops to each foot. So first of all, you wanna take it in your hands and just inhale. Valor is so beautiful. Now you can also rub this on your shoulders. This is a great place for it. But like I said, I like to put six drops on each foot. So I will take um, six drops to one foot and then add some more and put it to the other foot. And so I'm just applying this to the bottom of my feet. And you always want to inhale your oils. So your first thing you always want to inhale and then you can apply wherever you feel. And I'm going to direct you where to apply, but if you feel to put it somewhere else, please do. You know, you don't have to um, just go by my suggestion. Mm, that's one of my favorite oils. I, I, I just love this oil. So um, the affirmation we're going to use on here, let's see here. Need some glasses, excuse me. So I am ready to transform my life. Say it with power, say it with conviction. I am ready to transform my life. And you can inhale the oil while you're doing it. I am confident and secure in who I am. I am confident and secure in who I am. Reflect on what makes you feel insecure and release it. One of my favorite oils, mm, all time favorite. And you can start writing as well. So if you're feeling like you are got some writing to do, go ahead and start some writing. So um, now you're getting that other creative process going or if something just comes to you, write it down. Our next oil is harmony, harmony. I know it's backwards, I don't know how to switch it. I'm still learning. So harmony is um, harmony is great for balancing. Again, you put it in your hands and inhale. And then you want to apply it to your, your chakras. So you have your crown chakra or your energy centers, whatever you like to call them, energy centers, but you have an energy center on the top of your head your third eye, you have one on your throat area, you have one on your chest area, and your um, just under the breastbone and about three to four inches above your belly button, and then down below your belly button, about an inch or two, and then um, I like to take it to the spine. So you have Though, and there's many energy centers in your body, but those are ones that you can take it. This helps to um, balance the nervous system when you might feel stressed. So this is a great oil to use. Um, and an affirmation is, my heart is open to give and receive love. My heart is open to give and receive love. I can express myself completely. I can express myself completely. Try to keep your mind open and take note of any thoughts which arise. Why did they show up and what did they mean? And if you don't know at this point, just write it down. Whatever comes to you, just write it down a little note. <clears throat> mm -hmm. and you can always be drinking water and when you're um so now we're putting the taste in there and what's happening is we are um using all of our senses and we are um 
helping to make a transformation in our life. Our next oil is forgiveness. And it's here somewhere. Oh yeah, right here, forgiveness. So forgiveness helps you to release hurtful memories and it helps you to move forward. And you can apply this around the navel in a clockwise motion and think, think of things you want to release and forgive. Again, inhale first. And then you can put on your navel and go in a clockwise motion and think of things you want to forgive. So you can um, say a name. I forgive blank for any harm or hurt you have caused me. I forgive blank for any harm or hurt you have caused me. I am thankful for life's experiences and lessons they teach. I am thankful for life's experiences and lessons they teach. Or, I forgive myself for past mistakes. I forgive myself for past mistakes. Our next oil, release. Release helps you to release anger that is stored in the liver. Watch the emotions that come up. So your liver is on your right side, uh, under your rib cage, kind of like front and back. So that's where you want to apply this oil, right on your liver. I love my liver, as a saying. I love my liver. I release all negativity from my body. I release all negativity from my body. I replace all negative feelings with love and joy. I replace all feelings, all negative feelings with love and joy. Present time. So we always want to be in the present time, bring ourselves back to the present time. We don't want to get stuck in the past. We want to live in the moment, you know, so forget about the past and don't worry about the future. Apply this around the ears, the throat, and the wrists. Okay. Okay, around the ears and the throat and your wrists. I let go of my past. I experience the joy of the present. Reflect, okay, I let go of the past. Sorry, I was doing those twice. I experience the joy of, of the present. Reflect on what holds you back from living in the moment. Why is it so significant? And as you write those down, whatever comes to you. Mm -hmm. And our next oil is inner child. This stimulates the creativity and to learn and dream again as a child. So put a drop in your hand and all I'm doing is putting a drop in my hand. This is, so a trick is if you hold it where the letter is and then bring it out. That's where that will come out and I might be empty. I have to maybe pop my top. Okay, have to open another bottle. And this one, 
apply under the nose. So this will be great. I'll be going with this to bed all night. Mm-hmm. I am ready to face my inner child. I am ready to face my inner child. My authentic self is enough. My authentic self is enough. Try to keep your mind open to your affirmation and investigate any thoughts which come up. Why do you think of that or feel a certain way? And what significance does it have? Now those are the six oils from the uh, feelings kit. Oh, here it is. From the feelings kit. And this is from Young Living. So you want to go to um, youngliving.com. You need a member number of 701-963 for, um, for you to get in. So that's 701-963. If you like what you heard today, we are going to continue with this series because there is more clearing out and I am so excited to share with you um, and keep you informed at how we can open our mind to prosperity and... Um, and bring it in, bring it to us, and how we can clear some of the blocks and some of the steps to take. So this is very much our step one and two is clearing that. I thought it was great to add the essential oils because of the, the smell and as we're touching it and we're feeling it and we're writing notes. So even now you can just go and write notes. If you don't have those oils, you certainly wanna get them. And again, we, you, you, if you can join me, I have a uh, Facebook group where I'll be posting all my information. And that is Be Your Best Self. That is my Facebook page, or it's my private group. So if you wanna get in there and learn some tips and tricks, that's where I'll be posting those uh, some more of those be your best self. So you have to uh, it's a closed group. So just um, Put group underneath and we will get you in there and You can follow me on Facebook Instagram and Twitter as well. So I hope that was helpful um, and I look forward to the next step in how we can open our mind. Have a great evening all and I love you all. Good night.